Hello my lovely unicorns and non-unicorns, welcome to our Thursday's Nerdy Hawaii episode. Today I would like to show you how to make these super awesome and cute and super delicious Kumamon cake pops. As usual, starting with the things we need. I'm way too lazy today, so I'm using a box cake. And for that we are going to need 230 ml of water, 120 ml of vegetable oil and 3 eggs. We also need chocolate icing, white, red and black riding icing, your cake pop sticks, your candy melts or candy buttons in black, your hand whisk or mixer, a bowl, preferable two, your cake pan and a styrofoam block. First thing we are going to do is mix together our cake pattern. So dump in your cake mix, add the oil, boom, add the water, boom, and add the three eggs, boom, 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 and then mix. If you got everything well mixed, put it into your pan, which you of course greased with butter before, or if you have those pan spray stuff. Now smooth it out, tap it a little bit to get the bubbles out and then put it into the oven for around 30 minutes by 180 degrees. Now let the cake cool down and then we destroy the cake. We need those really really small tiny crumbles for the cake pops. So just leave all your frustration out. If you got the cake well destroyed, add at least, I would say, one to two tablespoons of your chocolate icing. And then use your pretty little fingers and mix everything together. The pattern is well mixed and now we can start scoop out our cake pop balls. I use the ice cream scoop for this because I feel like that is the perfect size. But you can of course take a tablespoon. So scoop it out and then start rolling it into the perfect shape you want to have. And then repeat it as much as you like or as much as you have cake mix. Don't forget to leave a little bit for our ear parts. For the ears we take kind of like a little dime size of the pattern and then roll it again. I also pressed it a little bit down to get a flat side for the ear part. Okay, I melted a couple of our candy drops to stick our cake pop sticks into it and then put them into your cake pop balls. Now put them into the freezer for at least 30 minutes before you put on the ears. For the ears again, use your chocolate dip it in and then press it as long as you can against the cake pop ball but it shouldn't be that long as the cake pop ball is still cold from the freezer now melt the rest of your candy melts or your chocolate drops yeah it doesn't look so nice in the beginning but it's getting better here yeah that is the perfect consistency i poured this into a deep glass so it is easier to drop in your cake pops, which you are going to do now. Just swirl it around a little bit and then you got your first cake pop. Try to drip up the excess and then you are done. At least with that part. Repeat this of course for all the other cake pops and be careful they might will drop into your class. That happened to me. <sighs> I tried. And here we have all our chocolatey cake pops so far. Now we can finally decorate. I started with the white frosting or the white icing. I drew on the ears, then the eyes, and then the mouth area. And let's do this a little bit quicker. And then I went with the dark chocolate into the eyes and the mouth and the nose and last but not least I put on our red little cheeks those cute little things. Uh, 
and then we are done ah so adorable so i would not say they're super easy to make you do require some time but they are well worth it they're super delicious and look at them they're super super cute so now another topic i would like to mention which is quite serious is kind of like this is my prayers and thoughts on of the Kumamoto earthquake that just happened recently. I would like to mention that if you would like to support or like to donate to help rebuild the city, then I'm going to link down below a donation page which, which was created by Michaela. She is a YouTuber living in Japan. And yeah, I'm going to link this down below for everybody that can be like there and help them out. It's maybe nice to donate at least five viewers to them. They will help them. It's a good site. You can read everything in it, um, where she's going to give the money to and everything. Again, it would be nice if you could support that. If not, it's your thing. Don't want to pressure you to do anything. But again, I'm going to link that down below and let's all hope that everything is going to be rebuild or good as much or as good they can do it and hopefully they won't suffer from any more earthquakes that are that hard to them so now we are stopped with the sadly sad news and i would like to say thank you so much for watching and um, as always i hope you enjoyed it Leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know all the jazz. And yeah, we see us not next time. Ooh, almost forgot to mention, we can't or I won't be able to post the DIY next Thursday because I will be in London next weekend. So means, or it's actually this weekend from this week. So means I cannot film any DIYs. So I'm really sorry about this. I hope you, um, can look upon this i know i did the promise thingy that i will regularly but there's just no chance for me i'm sorry about this i will still upload something normal either a talking video or maybe a vloggy thingy from london finally if i'm able to um, finish some stuff and can um, edit it before thursday but there won't be any tuesday video sadly but definitely a thursday video and sadly not the diy but I will be definitely back then the following week and hopefully again you will look on this or say ah, it's fine Steph, it's fine. And again, thank you for watching. I stopped talking now. See you in two weeks. Next Thursday, not next Thursday, you know. Oh, God damn it, bye bye. Let me fast this up a little bit. Doo -doo -doo. Here I went we'll down. Wave it for a couple of uh, minutes, but if you don't have one like I do, don't ask me why, I, I just don't. Super awesome and delicious and super cute Kumamon Pokeball, no. Why did I say Pokeball? <laughs>